Hi, I'm Julia Hankins and I help kids yoga teachers to grow their businesses in a sustainable way that's aligned with their values and that I do this through workshops, through trainings, through resources and through mentoring. And so I'm hoping that this video will help you today to think about some ways that you can prepare um, for a new school year. Or... Um, or even a new term actually, because it can be useful at the beginning of each term. So I tend to do these things at the beginning of the school year and also at the beginning of each term too. So um, if you're watching this um, at any time before a new term or a new set of sessions, then hopefully it will help you. And so, yes, I'm gonna be talking about planning, uh, resources, um and documents that's basically what i'll be talking about in this in this video so each each term i do my planning at, before before the term and so um i tend to plan termly generally i used to plan half termly but now i've moved to termly just because i found from for me personally for my own way of um working my own neurodiversity it works better for me to block things together and so i block the the planning together and i do it in one big chunk at the beginning of a term or before a term begins um and then those plans, adapt, I adapt and change them obviously, but I do the bulk of the planning at the beginning of the term. But you may prefer to do this half-termly or even less than that every few weeks if that's if that's your style. I personally prefer to do a big batch of it. Um, and so, yeah, I ensure that when I'm sitting down and doing my planning, I look back at all of my old plans. So I'll do it a setting at a time, um, so for each different setting I've got and each different class I've got within that setting, I will look back um, over all of the plans that I've done before. I'll think about what I already know about the children, what we've done before, and then I'll plan the next steps for those. And that's really simple and easy for me because I use the, pro the progression set out in my kids yoga cards that I use. Um, and so if you're not sure where to begin and you would like some kind of support with progression of like what happens next, um, then you may find the training captivating cards really useful for that um, because it gives you a progression route through what you're delivering in your classes and it helps you to have something to kind of base on as well as all the resources too. Um, and then, so I use that to then plan my lessons. And if you're not sure where to start with planning, you might wanna check out the videos that I'm going to tag in here. So I talk, there's, there's three different videos where I talk about my planning process. One of them's called Three Types of Plan. One of them's called Love Your Planning Process. And one of them is Making Your Plan Work For You and Not Against You, which is all about making it a really simple process for you so my planning process happens before the start of term check out those videos to to find out more and i've also got a freebie as well where i share my planning grids with you which are the short medium and long-term plans so you might find those helpful if if planning is something that you're thinking about just before the term begins so getting all my plans in place is is a really key thing that i do this time of year so next is my resources check. I actually tend to wash my resources at the end of a term, so at the beginning of a holiday, so that they've got more. To, I've got more time to dry them and um, organise them and things like that. But at the beginning of every term, I get all my resources out, especially after I've done my planning, I'm going to check my resources that I've said that I'll use in my planning. So for example, if I've included bean bags in my planning, then I'm going to go through and check that my bean bag, I'm going to check them, make sure that they're clean and safe, make sure that I've got the right amount of them that I need for the lesson, because you never know, one of my children may have come in and helped themselves to something. That does happen sometimes. Um, they like my yoga props a little bit too much so i always check that my resources are clean and that they're safe that there's no like stitching coming loose or any small parts coming off um, or anything like that so i have a little general safety check and then and another thing that i do is make sure that all of my cards are in the right places so 
for example I keep my cards in these zip up wallets and the way that I organize my cards is by the um, the group that I teach it to so this set is my is my red set so that tells me that it's step step ugh, set four and so what I would do is get out all of my cards from each set and check that I have indeed got all of the all of the cards and check that they're the right ones and they are like they've got four and I would need to check that have I got all of them and are they in the right place and it sounds really stupid and really obvious but actually it's quite easy to forget these really simple things and it's quite easy to forget that they need to be done and then start to teach and then get really overwhelmed because you're like oh no I'm meant to be packing my bag and actually I haven't got the things I need so that's something that I would do um, before the term begins is looking at have I got all my cards in the right packets and another thing that I do is check oh that I've got <laughs> I have these little bags these drawstring bags and I have soft toys that match my cards and so I go through and check that all of the soft toys that are in my bag are there um, and that I've got the right amount and again checking that they're safe checking that they're clean checking that they are there where they should be and again yeah I feel kind of silly saying this but this is the kind of thing that I need <laughs> for me personally to make sure that I'm organized and don't lose my shit like the day before teaching or the morning of the of planning you know grabbing my stuff and going and then I'll be like oh no where's my lizard I've lost my lizard running around the house crazy I definitely have done that so before the term begins I'll, that's what I'll do so resources check checking that I've got everything checking that it's where it should be and where I can easily access it when I need to um, if you're thinking about using props in your classes and you'd like to use more props in your classes this year and you don't know where to begin then check out my top prop tips which is um, a little freebie where um, oh no 10 prop tips is sorry t top prop tips is where I'm there's a video where I'm talking about tips for using the props um, I've also got a freebie which is top of the props <laughs> I clearly just had so much fun when I was naming them. Uh, so Top of the Props ch shares with you my t top 10 favourite props and how I use them. And so that's a little freebie that you can download from my, we from my um, website that I'll link in here. And also, if you know that props are something that you would like to include but you, you struggle with or you've used them and it hasn't really gone very well or you don't know where to begin with it all then you might want to check out the, the training props like a pro which is a self-paced online training that I'll, I'll tag in here so that's all of my props and resources checking that I've got them checking that they're where they should be and then the last thing that I do is my document check so I don't know if I've got yeah uh, yeah so I keep all of my documents that I need in my, my folder here and um, what tends to happen is that um, I fill the folder with crap as the year goes on <laughs> more and more bits of pieces get given to me and I'm like adding them in or like I'm adding I'm writing on the plans that I've got in there and shoving little notes from children and post-it notes and things like that get inside or like cards that I'm going to use in a particular class get shoved behind things so that I don't lose them and then I wonder where I've put them so I have a really good sort out of my document folder and um, I take out anything that I don't need anymore so I would have by this point already taken out the old plans because I use those in the planning process um, but I, I also file my old plans then with the dates on of of when I taught them so that when I'm looking back I can know what I taught to who when and they've got my notes on saying you know oh I didn't do this or I did this and it didn't work or I chose not to do that or that class was cancelled or you know all of those kind of things so I take those out and then I'll go through all of my certificates and check that they're all there and also check that I don't need to update anything now I already have reminders on my phone for things like insurance um when my insurance or when my 
first aid certificate or those kind of things when they run out or my DBS when that's going to be renewed all of those things I've already um, on my phone as a little reminder because I have ADHD and I need these things already in place otherwise I completely forget about them um, but it's it's always a really good time for me to just check them, have a look through my folder, check that I've got everything that I need, check that everything is in date. And then this is the point as well where I go through all my policies and check that I still do what I say I'll do. Because sometimes our businesses can flux and change and evolve and the policies that we have um, might not actually represent what it is that we do anymore or might you might have changed a way of working or you may have changed um, a, a where you store something or where you link something or your terms and conditions might have changed or something like that. So it's a really good opportunity to go through your documents and make sure that you've got them how, that they're, they're accurate, uh, that they're up to date and that you've got access to all of them. And I always keep them in the same place so that I can take it with me when I go to schools. Um, if you don't know where to start with documents and this is new to you and you, you just don't know where to begin, um, or even if it's not new to you and you just want to are you just curious to see what's Julia got? What does she do? <laughs> That's totally fine too. Um, there's a checklist available, which I will tag in into this description. Um, and yeah, and there's also a little video where I explain all of the documents that are involved in there. So um, I would love to know how do you prepare for a new school term or a new school year? Um, and what things do you do? Are there any things that I haven't mentioned here that you do to prepare for a new term? I would love to know. If you're watching this when it's being, um, when it's first being shown, then you have only three days left to book on to Captivate with Cards training and to get it for less than half price. So Captivate with Cards training is a fully resourced training bundle where you'll get live training that's delivered online and a recording afterwards if you can't attend live. And it's all about how to use um, yoga cards and wellbeing cards in your classes. So we'll cover curriculum classes, we'll cover extra curricular classes, we'll cover workshops and anything else that you that you want to know about basically to do with using cards. We'll talk about the progressive route way um, and we'll talk about um, things that you may need to consider in using them, all of those things and you will get the resources too so you'll get all of my cards. So if you see my cards and you've seen me flashing them around and you think oh they're nice I'd quite like them, you can get them. You just need to sign up to this course and um, you will get PDFs of them, of all of them. So that's the postcards, the postcards that are named, the postcards without the names. You get the um, partner cards which you can use as partner cards or posters or both. You will get an alphabet poster card or partner card. You'll get the manual. You'll get access to the live training, recording from the training. You'll get to shape the training by asking questions via email. And you'll have access to the e-course when it gets converted into an e-course because what I'm doing now in my business is gradually converting all of the trainings that I've created so far into e-courses so that they're easier for you to, to digest and refer back to. So if you would like to come to that training and shape it and get the resources, then check out the link that I'm included below and it's called Captivate with Cards Training and Resource Bundle. So I would love to see you there and I would also love to hear your questions about how to use them. And I'd love to hear any questions that you may have or things that you'd like to talk to me to talk to in these videos. Thanks ever so much for watching. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe um, it helps me to know um, that you're there and I'm not just talking to myself and also please sign up to my newsletter because that's where I share things, resources, free resources and free content every single week and also I will keep you up to date with any changes or any new things or new freebies or offerings or resources or trainings or anything else um, and it's just generally a great place to be. 
thank you again for watching and have a great day